Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Democracy 3, episode number 2 of this probably short Let's Play series. I love this quote from Eugene McCarthy, the only thing which saves us from the bureaucracy is its inefficiency. It's well known. Anyway, um, economic forecast is looking good. Our uh, we are actually in a surplus now. This was expected, right? This is the 200 extra billion we were making, um, minus the 30 billion, minus the 50 billion of items that we spend extra money on. So petrol is probably where it is. If I could go back and do it again, wouldn't it be great to just get an extra 50 billion out of this? And at the suffering, I mean, we would actually suffer, sadly, a an additional 2%, that's like actually five times more GDP loss. So maybe we're okay on petrol loss, maybe we can, I mean petrol, but it's just, that it doesn't affect, like mo most of the other things you can do, car tax are just, they're so prohibitive. So I mean this one, you're gonna upset motors, <laughs> motors again. <laughs> the poor motorists, um, but this one hurts the middle earnings, which is not good. Um, doesn't affect car usage as nearly as much, um, by nearly as much. Okay, so what were we thinking of doing at the very end of last turn? We did our science funding, and then there was something else we were planning to do, but it, it cost a measly four or six or something, and we didn't even have the money to do it. I think it was raise the police force. So that's what we're gonna do this turn, and this is one of those items which I'm pretty sure if they were to rewrite it in 2020, considering the situation, at least that's been the case in the United States, it might add some more, um, some more interesting gameplay effects with police force and all that, but it only costs four political points for us to raise this, so we will raise it. And I think that that's gonna really help us with our crime situation. If we take a look at crime, this is violent crime. Apparently it, was, it actually went up a little bit, but where's normal crime? Yeah, even normal crime is up a little bit, which probably is because I think when GDP goes up, there's some other effect which is causing it to go up. These are all the things which, um, oh, prisons. I wanna go to the prisons thing. Did I already change the prisons? I don't think so. Yeah, so prisons, this is a really good opportunity for us to um, increase our relations with the liberals and conservatives and state employees, decrease unemployment and decrease crime. So basically it's a win, 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 as long as we're willing to throw money at the problem, which we are. I know I said I wanted to solve the budget issue and we haven't even gotten below where our starting point was. And I'm just throwing tons of money at problems, but I'm really hoping that crime, when it goes down, is gonna help us with GDP. So I'm banking on that. It's not a really good way of doing it because if we look at crime here, oh yeah, it's an instantaneous effect. There's no inertia. Okay, that's good to know. Small business grants, we may wanna increase this. The capitalist, the GDP is nicely affected by it. Self-employed people really like it. Um, this drops socialism a little bit. Trade union membership goes down, but trade unionists are not themselves upset. This would be 30 more billion. Um, it does look good. It does look good. Capitalists are happy. GDP has increased by 1.5%. Oh, uh, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that as well. So we're really throwing a lot of our surplus away. I probably should stop here, but there's always other taxes we can implement. <clears throat> They're not gonna give us that much money, but <clears throat> what if we implement like a junk food tax? I know that this is not gonna be very popular and it actually hits the poor people. So where is our poor, wealthy, poor? So poor people, they like us fairly well. Um, food stamps is another one that I think is just a purely 100% win, there's no downside to it. I guess the only downside is, yeah, no, no, actually there is no downside. Um, 20 billion, it costs four to raise it, <clears throat> and it only costs four political, and it only costs an additional four billion. I'm gonna do this just to squeeze the most out of food stamps, especially because it's gonna help the poor decrease pov poverty, and I'm right about to change uh, I'm about to kind of unfortunately hit the, the poor with the junk food tax. We're gonna implement this because it does help, it does help, help health, and it decreases obesity, which is the important thing for me. So it's only gonna make us about, well, I guess about two billion uh, a quarter. Um, but more importantly for me, it's, and the youth don't like it, I guess, <laughs> no surprise there, but it's gonna increase health and it's gonna decrease obesity. So I think that this is a good idea. 
just implement that. Um, car tax, I think at some point we'll probably raise and we'll probably also increase the hybrid cars initiative. This decreases oil demand. Uh, motorists are happier, that's nice. Car usage, usage actually goes up, which we don't really want. High earnings, okay. We don't really care about giving high earnings or making high earnings higher. Capital gains is another one I think we can easily raise just for a little bit of benefit. Capitalists don't like it. High earnings gets affected. GDP goes down a bit. And wealthy people don't like it. Self-employed money actually plummets a bit. That's So when the money plummets, when their money goes down, that means that they're going to pay less in taxes, which is you know the whole idea about us trying to get the GDP higher. So let's hope that this has a better, that all the decisions we've made this turn start to have a better effect on crime. Um, citizenship tests. This decreases racial tension? No, no, no. What? Oh, okay. I guess it kind of makes sense. It decreases the tension. But liberals and ethnic minorities don't like it. It also stops immigration. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we have foreign aid. We don't have very much foreign aid. Patriots don't like it. Now, by the way, patriots are um, usually the group that we have the, the are the most satisfied. In fact, what we could do, I want to maybe lower our state pension. Because I know that retired people are extremely happy about this, but it is very, very expensive. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, let's... With only seven points... We, I'm sure we could squeeze something out. Hopefully something that's not too expensive. We could do the welfare. The main benefit that this one has is that it, it the middle class really likes this for some reason. Um, alcohol, alcohol awareness would also be a good one just to start decreasing the effects of alcohol. Um, young entrepreneurs helps with GDP. It only costs $2 billion. That might be the best one for us to do. Trade Council is another good one. Business Startup is also a good one. This one only costs two. Young Entrepreneur is more popular, and I have done a few unpopular ones. I think it also costs less. 1.83, 4, 1.95. So the Business Startup is the cheapest. I think we'll still go with the Young Entrepreneurs. Plastic Bag Tax, another one we could do just to kind of save the environment and get some money while doing it. Only one billion, it doesn't really do much. Still something to consider. I think we're gonna go back and do this. Yeah, capitalists are happy, youth are happy, and socialism goes down a little bit. Okay, that's those are fine for me. So it did not end up doing what I wanted it to do, which, which is raise GDP. But that's all we're gonna be able to do this turn. Okay, stress epidemic. Well, that's not good. Businesses are working people too hard. Um, we should limit our hours. We haven't really had a chance to do anything, but hey, let's let's start looking at the quarterly summary. This is great news. This is really fantastic. Health is actually going up significantly. Crime is going down significantly, and unemployment is going down significantly. That's really good. Really, really, really good. Um, our ministers are trustworthy. Their effectiveness is passable. Hopefully, that'll get better and better. Church of Christ is not really happy with me. It's kind of interesting to look at the security briefings. Basically, as long as everything with a gun next to it is at minimal, um, then you have no risk of being assassinated. But as soon as this starts filling up these meters, that's the danger, the threat assessment. And there's some actual measures you can take to combat that. Like you can increase armed police, you can increase intelligence services, you can activate these other things like curfews, CCD, uh, CCTV cameras, uh, mandatory microchip implants, stuff like that. Um, so the top part just shows how much people potentially don't like you, but if it really goes over the edge, they get into like the crazy fanatic going to try to kill you, terrorist group basically, in the bottom. We're doing okay so far. I did want to look at the health statistics. Okay, yeah, health in the United States is really, 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 really not good. We're going to have to work on this. And pollution, yeah, this is always one that I really want to try to get rid of. Um, actually increases environmentalist membership, which is not that bad, but health is bad, tourism bad, environmentalist, yeah, well, okay, we don't we don't like, they don't like us, but I, I'm, 
I can deal with people not liking us as long as the long-term effects are better because we'll eventually make people happy if we solve everyone's problems. So the fact that this just directly affects a group is not that big of a deal for me. The fact that it affects health and tourism, that is a big deal. So how do we get rid of this? We just need to improve the environment and we can do that by increasing hybrid cars initiative, stuff like that, pollution controls. I don't like to do pollution controls um, it's not even that expensive, but it really doesn't, um, it really hurts the GDP and the capitalist. I mean, it doesn't seem to give as much as you get out of it. So GDP goes down by minus 4%. CO2 emissions goes down by 16. The environment goes up. I don't know. This is interesting. It's pretty cheap to do. Maybe once our GDP gets a little bit higher, because you know it's not, it's not amazing yet. I do like to look at the economic forecast stuff. This is probably a chart that we'll look at every turn. And look at that. We've managed to keep our income above our extended expenditures, which is definitely desirable. The global economy is starting to show some downward trend. We'll have to be monitoring that very carefully. Ideally, so this is a turn where we only want to try to raise taxes because I want to make sure that we get our debt down as fast as possible. Um, if the GDP of the world cr crashes, we're only going to be left with, with whatever taxes we have to try to save things. Okay, so let's kind of take a look at corporation taxes, stuff like this. GDP here, only affected by 6%, basically nothing. So let's see if we can maybe, like the capitalists don't like this, but there's no, okay, self-employed income is impacted, but 19 we have, can we get this up to like 250, 300 even? What if we put it at 30%? Okay, so socialists will be happier, capitalists, not so happy, wealthy, that's okay, self-employed. Biggest thing, GDP minus 1.8. I think that's okay for considering this is a, what, increase of 140, wow, it's a massive increase. Let's go to 33, push it even further. Minus 5% for self-employed income. I really don't like that, but we'll, we'll find a way to compensate for it, right? We're gonna use these things to their benefit. GDP minus 2.6. I mean, I don't like that. I really don't. 2.6 versus, what was it here? 1.7. Wow, that's a pretty big difference. 31, 2.2. Yeah, 1.76 is, if we keep it just below two, let's go to like 31. 1.9. Okay, let's do this. So this is going to make us 297. We'll go to 297 exactly. 145 extra. Seems okay to me. Let's ex let's apply this. So some people are not going to be happy, but look at the people. I mean, patriots. These are the people who we probably should be trying to take money from the most. <laughs> I know military spending is so high, but the main issue I have with lowering it, the thing I can't get around, is it gives so such a striking impact on unemployment. It's just incredibly difficult for me to roll it back. So we'll we'll just we'll have to find another way around. Because I really like I I mean unemployment is just it's something it affects homelessness as well. I'm pretty sure yeah. So we'd like to get rid of homelessness because this affects middle income, affects crime, lots of, I mean, there's, yeah, everything. It's a whole web of problems, right? You're just bouncing all over the place. So prisons are set. It's going to take a little while for that to go in effect. Police force is set. Um, jury trial. This only costs eight to raise. We have 13. I like to do this just to make the liberals happy, but it should be a low priority because um, it only affects how somebody thinks about us. It doesn't have an effect on the long term, like the GDP or something like this. We should always do those longer term impacts first and just bear the fact that people don't like us for a while. Um, how is alcohol usage looking so far? It is dropping. It is dropping, which is good. And community policing is going to continue to assist that as well. Uh, maybe this is the time to try to double down on that. Obesity did not nearly go down as much as I was hoping. One thing we could probably do is either increase state schools or state health service. 
Now, state health service, there's just you can you just can't throw. We don't have enough to do anything. Political capital. Is that also true with this? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can't. Those are neither of those are an option right now. Food standards. I don't like the food price going up, so we won't mess with this one. School vouchers. I'm not going to mess with that one. Science. We already did maximum funding. Let's look at what else they have in public services. Um, public libraries. That's a great one to add. I know that. Oh, healthy eating campaign. This is this is perfect. Yeah, there's a lot of these little ones we should start doing. Let's implement this. <laughs> Basically, health up, obesity down. What's not to like? Definitely apply that. We have 11 left. Let's go back to public services. Um, these are both good. Use politics. Public library is also great. Free school meals. It's pretty expensive, but we didn't we just do something which is going to make us more money? <laughs> yeah, we increased corporate tax. So free school meals is going to increase health. I think also decrease poverty. Which means, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and implement this. So there goes down poverty, up health, poor people like it, parents like it, more parent membership, poor earnings gets higher, obesity goes down. It's one of those that you just, you get a lot of, I think you get a lot for your political capital. There's only one political capital left, we'll end the turn. Hmm. Well, it's very good to see that antisocial behavior has now ended. This is mostly, I think, due to community policing. Ban tobacco adverts. Well, if we banned, uh, we did ban the, uh, we did ban the drinking ones. So there's no direct 100% proven evidence that tobacco is anywhere near as harmful as some pressure groups claim. Millions of our citizens enjoy smoke without any serious ill effects. And this is an example of any state trying to tell people what to do. It's really interesting. I, I mean, I have like social commentaries that I at least managed to avoid all the way through the first uh, video. I will just say that tobacco does seem to be picked on. I mean, probably rightfully so, considering a lot of the shady stuff they've done in the past. But at this point, they're kind of like a, a whooping boy. Um, <laughs> there's not a consistent policy on this, I feel. We allow some products to be used, even though they're harmful. Um, and tobacco is like just forbidden, <laughs> just has been really targeted. Anyway, um, I think we'll approve of the ban though, because again, this is an amoral, don't care. I mean, I don't think uh, tobacco advertisements are like a good moral thing, <laughs> but, um, I feel like we should at least be consistent. And I think that if, in my U S country though, I want to emphasize health. So I'm going to suffer the the consequences of just turning that down. Okay, poverty's down, crime is down, health is up. I'm a little bit worried. Yeah, GDP, glo the global economy is still down. Relative GDP is still slightly trending up. Blue is our debt, which is down a little bit. Interest rate has not changed though, which is a little bit unfortunate. Let's just take a look at our income. Yeah, the petrol tax is now giving us as much money as the sales tax. Capital gains is probably my next target for something I'd like to increase, that or property tax. Um, or it could even be the inheritance tax. The car tax wouldn't be that bad either, I guess. Um, efficiency is 97%. That's a little bit low. Expenditure, 97% um, again. That's not, not amazing, but mostly on the military. But second is state pensions. That's right. So this is the turn where I think we lower state pensions. Uh, okay, so what do we want to cut these back to? So the private pensions on the bottom is not a big deal. It just means that we're not prohibiting private pensions as much, which makes sense. If there's state pensions, then there's essentially government competition to private pensions. And since it's a government, it's funded by the taxpayers, <laughs> you know, it's always going to be hard to compete with a state entity. So I want to make sure that we still... We, I mean, we don't roll this back too much because even though it's still negative, like we're still helping poverty. We're not helping it by as much. So can basically consider this an increase in poverty. Um, capitalists will be a little bit more happy. Retirement, retired people are not going to like it as much. Poor don't like it. Retired income goes down by a little bit. Retired membership goes down by a little bit. But let's see. If we go down to 111, that that's $60 billion we save, which I don't feel like is that bad. Could roll it back even to 100 
we do 100.27, we can still say we're spending over a hundred billion dollars on it. So let's just do it to like 101. Yeah, so that even if there's some wiggle room of the actual cost, uh, it stays above a hundred billion. <laughs> just for uh, my own imagined role-played talking points to my imagined population people. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do this. This is going to save us quite a lot of money. Lowering it does cost us 26 of our capital, so it's basically going to, you know, there it is, only four capital left. Not much left we can do. Although, yeah, actually there still is. Alcohol awareness. Let's take a look at our other options. Oh yeah, we still have these business startup. I think that let's do this one. This one must be the, no, it doesn't, huh? Well, we will max fund it. it takes two points. Um, yeah, we'll do this. It's going to take a long time for the effects to go to go in. But I wanted to do, let's go back to economy, National Business Council. That's the one. This has got to be the one. Yeah, there it is. That increases GDP. So that's the big one. It's going to take 24 turns. So basically won't even finish happening until my second term. Uh, so let's get that one started right away. I should have done that one earlier, knowing that it has such a long term effect. Well, with zero, with zero capital, can literally do nothing else and then the turn so the first video was a bit slow but wow the second one is moving along much much faster GDP up health up crime down poverty up yeah but that makes sense right because we just slashed state pensions which is unfortunate oh my gosh budget report we had 300 billion in surplus which is fantastic now does that mean did we get Okay, Vigilante Mobs has now ended, which is fantastic. Credit rating upgrade, this is what I was looking for. Oh, this is really good. So capitalists are gonna be happy, GDP goes up as well. Um, we probably want to just leave things where they are, not spend too much because, again, let's just take a look at this. G yeah, the global economy looks like it's crashing. I wouldn't say crashing, that's way too strong of a word. But our expenditures actually went down. Oh yeah, that's right, state pension. <laughs> our income still went up ever so slightly. That's because our relative GDP is still going up. That's going down. Now we're gonna pay less interest. So the expenditures, where's the interest? Debt interest. So debt interest is still pretty high up there on the list of items we have to pay. But at, let's call it 17 billion. That's a lot less than whatever. I mean, our interest rate just went down from well, I don't know what it was. I would have to go back in the last video. Wow, credit rating of A. It's pretty good. So 300 billion. Um, how's our debt looking? 2.8. At least we're below where we started and we're making progress. Things are looking good. I would still like to choose any kind of economy thing, which is going to help um, GDP. Now recycling seems to be a useful thing. People are, it's very popular. We do want to control, you know, we want to make sure we're saving our environment. So I think that this will be a good one to do. Um, environmentalist, the environment. Yeah, so it does affect the environment. Basically it's just free um, happiness factor for the environmentalist. Also increases the number of environmentalists. That seems okay to me. We'll do 10 billion into this. Environmentalists, yeah, they still don't like us very much. <laughs> I guess that's because of the pollution, which is going down ever so slightly. We can probably go to transport as well. See if there's anything here we might want to try to enact. Yeah, okay, so bicycle subsidies at five billion doesn't seem as bad now that we have 300 billion in the, in the uh, like, income. Ooh, there's lots of little things we can do here. Clean fuel subsidy, car emission limits, so many different things. But let's start with the bicycle subsidies, which it's the same thing. Health up, car usage, but rail, bus, all down. Let's do that. We could also enact, I don't think with 13 we'll have enough, but we could also enact an airline tax. And this will give us a, a fair amount of money, decrease airline usage, which I think has a small impact on the GDP as well. But the benefit is um, it does cut down on carbon emissions since... Airplanes also contribute. Uh, rail usage, car, oil demand. So what's our biofuel subsidies at right now? Decreases oil demand, farmers are happy. Yeah, increases farmer income. Does increase fuel price. I don't, I mean food price. I don't like it when things are increasing the food price. Because a lot of my programs, I mean, I'm, I didn't help the 
poor at all by cutting the state pension. So I, I kind of want to make, although we all, we also have free school lunches, so at least kids are not being impacted. Not that I need to think about it that deeply, I just need to think about the numbers, the min-max. Um, this is really cheap, I've been thinking about this for a while, let's just implement it, decrease alcohol consumption. Start, uh, law and order, have we done anything here? Witness protection program, this mainly gets rid of violent crime. And violent crime is already basically at zero, so I don't think we need to do that one. Um, okay, law and order. There might be other ones we can do, but not with uh, only 11 points. Yeah, public libraries. We I know that we just basically made the, <laughs> the retired people didn't really like us as much. Look at this. Education equality. That's just, there's no downside here. We'll do that one for sure. Yeah, the retired were not really happy that we cut state pensions, but for just a fraction of the money that we're saving, we can give them public libraries and with only one point left, I guess that's the end of this turn. Yeah, the public libraries is really nice though. Um, helps the retired people feel better. Yeah, not even 20 billion and we saved what, like 70 billion, 60 billion, I forget, so. It's done, it's ready. Rubbish tip protests, what is this? Green processors have staged. Oh good, you guys are getting the sound. I was looking at that. Um, green protesters have staged a noisy protest at the location of a proposed landfill site. Okay, so the environmentalists are just temporarily unhappy. This is something that will fade over time, but still looking good, 300 billion. Um, but I want to make sure that our... Yeah, this is the main thing I want to look at. Keep looking at the GDP <laughs> budget report. Yes, that looks good. So income went up expenditure went up more so we closed our, our our surplus decreased by a bit but yeah that global economy is still worrisome so we just want to get this debt as low as possible as quickly as possible so that we're not um endangered when the if the world economy collapses i don't know i mean i have no idea how this global economy thing is determined by the game if it's just a random thing it's nice that it's not completely random like just a random pick every new quarter there is some you know a uh, year-long trend to it somehow which is nice because that's how the real world works i've heard what is it like a three-year cycle to like recessions mini recessions something like that maybe it was four i don't know okay let's see technology grants this uh hurts religious membership uh but in other in every other way it looks amazing we will i did yeah, I mean, I just randomly clicked on this one, but absolutely we're going to do that. 22 points left. How is our political capital? It's at 27. So you can see how quickly things have dropped. Looks like Ann Cooper, liberal and capitalist. Capitalist? Liberals. Oh, man, we just got to get the liberal. Okay, so let's, let's start doing the things which are going to make liberals happy. We're going to raise the jury trials. Um, private prison. So I think... This does not impact crime very much. It does hurt liberals and does hurt, does hurt trade unionists. I think we're just going to go ahead and cancel this policy, which only takes three. It's going to help us with liberals. Um, just got to make We got to win back the liberals a little bit. Prisoner tagging. It does help crime, so I might leave that one of all the things. Prisons. That one's helping everyone. Yeah, gated community is not something that liberals love, but it's like the one way we can help conservatives and wealthy. And right now, wealthy are okay, and conservatives, I always have a hard time finding them. Oh, they, oh man, conservatives are doing fine. Okay, so we don't need to worry about it. We can actually do the inheritance tax. <laughs> we don't need to make more money right now. The one thing I want to try to prevent is lowering the middle income. Now, yeah, because these guys really get impacted by the in by the income tax. So, um, okay, space program. This is another one which I think will help the GDP. No, it only helps technological technological advantage and technology, as well as patriot. But we don't really need that. I mean, I guess it does help unemployment as well. But uh, we'll just keep cycling through things. Maybe I, maybe I should spend a little bit of time making sure that. Like everything in a category per turn, like pollution control. Do we need to do this? I don't know. 
that would be the one we might change. Technology grants we already changed, recycling we already did. Limit automated trading. This is a tough one too. Without even changing it, I, I still have gotten events saying that, you know, the stock market crashed due to not strict enough control here. So for some reason, even trading delays is not considered strict enough. Okay, well, fair enough. I'm not gonna change it though. Um, we have labor laws. This is something I think it would be worth to change. We have to have 27 in order to change it. Can't do that right now. Business startup, that one's good. Small businesses, that's good. National Business Council, also good. Let's go over to economy again and see if there's anything else we might wanna add. Clean energy subsidies would be good. Trade Council. Um, those are the two that jump out at me. Let's do the Trade Council. It's not extremely pop popular, but international trade and foreign relations. I mean, these are just good things. I think international trade decreases food cost, which is good. This is oil price, but where's food? Food price, there it is. Yeah, food price thankfully is still pretty low and international trade will help with that. Average temperature is still going up. We need to make sure we keep our CO2 emissions as low as possible. Energy efficiency. So science funding is helping this, but we should probably also look at other energy efficiency things. Smart meter program. Okay, well that makes sense. Energy efficiency, boom, just like that. So all these things are costing money, but slowly but steadily, I think we're gonna be increasing the energy efficiency. And uh, you know, with five points, I think we'll save that for the next turn, and we'll also save that for the next video. So um, it's been another 31 minutes, we really zipped through that. And I, you can see, I really enjoy this game. It's kind of fun to min-max your way. I think that the game is not too difficult, but I mean, look at this, I'm already expected to get 51% of the vote. <laughs> Our credit rating was upgraded again, so what are we at? Triple A at this point? Does it say? Um, yeah, we're at double A, so we're almost at triple A. And that means that where the expenditure for our income, where our, for our debt was over here last time, look at, there it is, it's at the second column now, the top of it, from down from 18 or 17, I think it was 17 down to 11. So that's only 6 billion that we've saved. You can see why debt interest is not a huge, it's not hugely important to get it, to work on it as I am. So it's really overkill to do what I'm doing to try to decrease the debt so quickly, but I don't like it hanging over my head if we have, you know, debt. I mean, the ratings improve, uh, improvements are pretty valuable. No, not that, but this credit, credit work, Credit rating upgraded gives us 0 0.05 with uh, capitalists and 0 0.03 with GDP. That's probably even more important, the GDP, the small increases. Um, that, that's really helpful. Even though it is, I'm pretty sure it's just a fading thing. You can see that it's 2.25 and then it'll drop down to 1.27 eventually. So it's not going to stick around forever, but it's a nice um, temporary bump, which increases their taxes. So it's a, a feedback a whole feedback loop where increasing your uh, or decreasing your debt, increasing your GDP can help you decrease your debt, which then helps you get a better credit rating, which increases your GDP, which then lowers your debt and credit rating, GDP, etc. Okay, so anyways, there's episode two, video two, done, down. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you back for the next one. Until then, stay safe and take care.